You're watching the Throttle House Track Series, and this is a drag race. Look at that! So today we have the Tesla Model 3 and the BMW M2 competition. Now I know that everybody wants to see the Model 3 performance go up against the BMW M2 competition, and we are going to do that on the track. But this is a drag race. We've actually road tested these two exact cars, and we were dying to see which one was faster. Yep, and today is made possible by our sponsor, Crown Rust Control, our favorite rust proofing company. The guys there are absolute legends. I actually got my WRX rust proofed recently, and so thank you to them for making this possible. Now, I have a challenge ahead of me today. This is real world conditions, not a prepped drag strip, which means the surface is just like a normal road. So even though the M2 has the twin turbo 3 liter inline 6 S55 motor, now with 405 horsepower and 406 foot-pounds of torque it's rear-wheel drive manual and will struggle to hook up as well as the Tesla basically I have my work cut out for me the Tesla Model 3 all-wheel drive can the car that claims safety as its number one priority also be a drag race machine now this isn't the performance model but don't be fooled with its 346 horsepower dual motor and a rear biased all wheel drive system, it lugs its 4,000 pound fat bottom to 100 kilometers an hour in just 4.6 seconds. And it does so silently. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get notified as soon as our videos come out. And for extra content and behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram at The Throttle House. Okay, so I am in the Tesla Model 3 all wheel drive. This thing weighs about 4,000 pounds, but we get instant torque and it's all wheel drive. So I have no problem putting the power down. So Thomas has a far more complicated launch procedure than me. His is a manual. He's got like over 400 horsepower. He's got to manage the throttle in such a way that he doesn't wheel spin too much or bog the engine. I've been really practicing my technique so that I can compete with that. Basically, this is what I'm going to do. This is my foot. I, and I know you might not have seen it because it was pretty quick, but like, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, the M2. Now, this is rear wheel drive. It's not super easy to launch. It's difficult to get the power down. I'm going up against an all wheel drive electric car. Damn, we're off. And I've crushed him off the line, absolutely destroyed him. I just don't have a chance. That was a good launch, that was clean. And I, I wish I had some like Beatles playing right now. I just don't have a chance. Look at the Tesla go! Oh, he's in, in the dust. And that's 180 kilometers an hour. Wonderful, and so silent. It's nice to silently beat your enemies. Oh, hey! Yeah, hi. Hey. How challenging was yours to get off the line? Oh, God, this real ache in my leg. I, I bet it was hard, yeah. All-wheel drive electric torque, man. It says I didn't have a chance. I had a great launch. I hooked up. Second easy, gear was great. Easy victory. And this is not even the Model 3 performance. It's just nuts. So quick. It's not fair. Whatever, I can do donuts. <laughs> On the way back, James and I ran an off-the-cuff rolling race, and the result was closer, but the same. And yet, he is still in my peripherals. He's gone. We will rerun this test when we have the Model 3 performance out, and we will hit the track. But before we ended the day, I reminded myself why the M2 comp is a real riot. So thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the full M2 versus Model 3 track test.